If you're not using podcasts as part of your learning materials, you are missing out. The first podcast that I'd like to recommend, which I think you'll love, it's bittersweet for me because they don't make it anymore. So Ben, I want to kick it off with a question to you. It's called Linear Digressions. Hey, Katie. Hi, Ben. And Ben is, I think he's a web developer, and Katie is a physicist turned data scientist. What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about Gaussian processes as a way to solve pretty gnarly regression problems. And it was enlightening and insightful and nuanced, and I just learned so much from it. The Poisson distribution is actually really handy to know for certain types of modeling that you might want to do. I listened to this podcast from about 2016 until it ended in 2020, so it ended in the middle of the pandemic. If by any chance Ben and Katie see this video, I'd just like to say thank you so much for creating that podcast. Podcast number two will give you a high level look at statistics. And it's useful because it can show you how statistics is used and misused. The podcast is called More or Less with Tim Harford. It's a radio show here in the UK, so I probably can't play any clips from it. He investigates data that's been reported somewhere in the world on a news site. So one thing that he looked into was there were reports that the Portuguese divorce rate was 94%. So he investigated that. It's reported that 29,000 coffee pods per minute go into landfill and he looked into that one too. Listening to it helps you to develop a sense about whether a statistic seems right and the sorts of questions that you should ask if you want to investigate it further. In 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the... Anyone? Anyone? Podcast number three will ensure that you never give a boring presentation. It's about data visualization and how to do it properly. But more than that, it's about how to take the data that you have and craft a story out of it. The fourth podcast is presented by Professor Margot Gerritsen from Stanford University. And it's really quite wonderful when you see how all of these fields is all connected in exactly the same way. And it consists of in-depth interviews with leading data scientists from a range of different fields. So you get to see how data science is applied in lots of different sectors. There's also a lot of useful career advice and learning advice too. That's the doorbell. Oh, that was a really special Amazon delivery. Thank you. Podcast number five is, well, it's another little gem, and it looks at the applications of machine learning, the practical applications, and how businesses are using machine learning to solve certain problems. And because you've made it this far, I have two bonus podcasts for you. The first one is Freakonomics, named after the book with the same title, you'll like that. And the second one is from Tim Harford, the man who does more or less, which I recommended as podcast number two, and his new podcast is called Cautionary Tales. And it's a really riveting and interesting podcast. How do you learn STEM subjects like math, science and computer science? If you're looking for a quick and efficient way of hacking your learning that's free and easy, then I think you'll like Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. You learn by doing and Brilliant's interactive challenges, which are an integral part of the lessons, force you to think about the topic in different ways which ensures that you understand it. The design of the lessons and their accessibility from a computer or phone means it's easy to build a learning habit. 15 minutes a day is all you need to start understanding and mastering a whole world of new subjects. Brilliant has thousands of lessons at levels ranging from beginner to university, and they add new ones every month. Thinking in code is a recent addition. It gets you designing simple programs right from the start that solve real world problems. The interactive challenges ensure you quickly develop an intuition for the underlying concepts. Whatever the reason you want to become a more effective learner, whether it's to improve your career prospects or ace that test or learn to code, then you can go to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer and try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days. Or you can just click on the link in the description and the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.